Hey guys, just a quick one here. I just uh, wanted to show you how I'm going to edit this baby skin. Um, I am asked a lot about it. I do use my actions. I have my own actions which um, I've made, but I do have a technical issue right now with the English version. So at the moment, there's only Hebrew available. And um, what I would do as a first step is use the action that smooths the skin and then I'm going to use the action that reduces all the redness and the one that um, get the baby a uh, nicer skin tone um, etc etc et but I'm not going to use the actions at the moment because I do just want to show you how I'm doing it uh, or some of it a little um, like hand edit so um, this is the image before uh, before and as you can see there's a lot of rash going on there I don't even think the bum is wiped properly there's all these skin patches um, lots of redness blemishes and this skin um, like a mark I don't know how you call that but that mark that lots of babies got on the forehead and she also got that little grumpy wrinkle right there which I'm also going to remove because we want to make the baby um, look all nice and sort of relax and all that so this is the image before and this is the image after I worked on it and it took me about 10 minutes to work on this one maybe I'm exaggerating maybe less but um, it did took a little uh, work because there's a lot to do um, but yeah, but sometimes in some babies you just really do need to do that. So, okay, so what I do, first step I do is I'm going to duplicate the, the newborn layer. So there you go. Drag it, duplicate it. So it, it's right there. And I'm going to reduce the opacity to around 60. And if I like to change the opacity, I will do it later. And I'm going to select my patch tool. It's right there. And some would use other um, other tools, but my patch, the patch tool is my favorite. And the reason is because I can just select, there you go, select a big area and just drag it to a different area and um, finish faster. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna go dot dot dot. You know, I just wanna go patch. Um, so there you go, just quickly doing that and going around and um, cleaning bits that I can and I see and I want. And the other thing that is pretty important to know about um, that sort of method is um, you do want to select the, um, the area from, I mean, the area that you do select, the one that has got a lot of... Um, like a skin rash or whatever you want to remove, you select it and you drag it to an area that looks better, basically. Because what it does, it just it duplicates that patch and um, we put it on the other side. It's like um, like a clone, but it would do it in in a lower opacity. So because we just removed the opacity over there, so it's just. Um, just sort of like blend the two layers together and makes it look more natural. So when you do do that, you do want to select an area, um, you do want to drag it to an area that looks good, but also with a texture. Because if you're going to select, uh, I don't know, like let's say we select this area and we drag it to an area that's got no texture, we're going to get, I don't know if you can see it, but we're going to get an area that is almost clear, that there's no texture right there. I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to try zooming in. Um, okay, so you can see there's, a, there's an area right there and it's got no texture right now because I didn't drag it to the right place. So you do want to drag it to an area that is got the same skin texture and makes it look more natural. And going back to the opacity, you can play with the slider and just go up and down. But you don't want to go 100% and you don't want to be too low. So it's always around the 60 area when where it looks best. But 
obviously play with it and you find the right place for you. Um, is there anything else I wanted to mention about it? Um, it works really well for uh, any skin problem. You can use it on any session, any portrait. It works pretty well and um, here's the little grump I can just remove right now. And as you can see, it's not 100% removed. I could do it 100% but my opacity is low. I mean, it's midway. So I do want to kind of leave some natural look on it. There you go. And I'm going to show you before and after. So I'm not done yet. You can obviously see that it's not done. And as I said, I do... I do use my um, my actions to really smooth out everything and, and reduce the redness and bring back some color and I will probably use another filter to put on top of everything to just warm, warm the image a little bit but uh, that's pretty much what you get after I don't know two minutes of just quickly editing hand editing just like that so it's pretty good um, and I do recommend that and I do it in almost every session I got and I do hope this will help you. So let me know if you want to know how I do anything else, if you want me to answer any questions and um, yeah, just comment below. So thank you so much and have a good day. Bye.